it's time to get your arrows popping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial will be about solving linear equations part two. Today's video will be discussing solving two-step linear equations and we have two examples for you to check out. So as you see here, these will be the two examples that we'll discuss and you'll be utilizing your linear equation properties in order to solve these linear equations. That means we'll be incorporating the addition property of equality, the subtraction property of equality, the multiplication property of equality, and yes, the division property of equality. That's right. So without further ado, let's get into solving problem number one. With problem number one, we have 3x minus 1 equals 8. And just like in our first video, Solving Linear Equations Part 1, where we were solving one-step linear equations, your goal remains the same. And that is to get the variable by itself, to solve for a positive 1x, in this case, to the first power. That's exactly what you want to do. So the idea is to get the term that contains the variable by itself. And as I look at the equation, we have the term 3x, we have our second term on the left side of the equation, negative 1, and you have a term on the right side of the equation that's an 8, right? Well, the variable is a part of that first term, that 3x that I just mentioned. And as far as terms are concerned, terms are separated by plus or minus signs, meaning that on the left side of the equation, the first term is 3x, and the second term is this negative 1 here. So you want to get the term that contains the variable by itself by using the different properties of equality that we just discussed. Since I want to get 3x by itself, I want to get rid of the negative 1. So we'll be using the addition property of equality in order to make that happen. I'll be adding 1 to both sides of the equation. Remember, in order to keep that balance, that equilibrium in the equation, you want to do the same operation on both sides of the equation. Meaning that if I'm adding 1 on the left side, I need to add 1 on the right side to maintain the integrity of the equation. We don't want to change the outcome, right? So bringing down that 3x, that first term there, we'll have 3x and then the ones are additive inverses, aka opposites. And what happens when you combine opposites? A negative one and a positive one, that will combine to give you the value zero. So we don't necessarily need to write the zero, we'll just go ahead and cancel it out, like so. Bringing down that equal sign, you'll then combine eight and one to give you a result of nine. So we now have a simplified equation that reads 3x equals 9. So if you're counting the number of steps that we've done thus far, we did one step, which was using the addition property of equality. In other words, when we added one to both sides, and now because the number 3, that coefficient, the number in front of the variable, that value is multiplying on our variable x that we want to get by itself, we'll use the opposite operation of division in order to isolate the variable. So I'm going to be dividing both sides by that coefficient three. From here, we'll be simplifying. So my threes will cancel out because three divided by three leaves me with one x, and I'll bring down that x and then do my division on the right side of the equal sign. So nine divided by three, that's just three. All right, put a red box around that. Red box in it. And that completes problem number one. Let's move on to our next problem. Here in problem number two, we have 4m equals negative 8m plus 24. Notice that in this example, your variable that you're trying to isolate is located on the left and the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate the variable. We're going to choose a side for the variable to remain. And because we already have a positive 4m on the left side, in order to solve this equation in two steps, I can just eliminate the m's, as in Mary, on the right side, okay, by adding 8m to both sides. In other words, using the addition property of equality. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'm going to say that I'm going to add 8m to the left side of the equation, and I'm going to add 8m to the right side of the equation. 
just like this, guys. And on the left side, we'll be combining 4M and 8M. This is where you're going to be combining like terms. Keep in mind that like terms have the exact same variable with the exact same exponent on that variable. So in this case, we do have the exact same variable, so we can go ahead and add them together. So 4M plus 8M gives you 12 m bring down that equal sign you're now looking at additive inverses that negative 8m the positive 8m well they'll cancel out that's right go ahead and cancel those m's out go ahead and get rid of them then we'll be bringing down the number 24 so our simplified equation is 12m equals 24. Notice that we now have a coefficient of 12 in front of the variable m. Remember our goal is to get m by itself. How do we do that? The division property of equality. That's right. Anytime you have a coefficient, a number in front of a variable, you can just simply divide both sides by the exact same value. So I'll be dividing both sides of the equation by 12. Then I'll be simplifying. That's right. On the left side, 12 divided by 12 is 1m. So that's what I'm bringing down. And then on the right side of our equation, you have 24 divided by 12. It just so happens that 12 goes into 24 twice, people. Go ahead and bring down a 2, please. There you go. And of course, you want a red box it. That's right, guys. Go ahead and show off to your teacher that you know exactly what the correct answer is. And that completes our tutorial for solving two-step linear equations. That's right. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fort Bend Tutoring, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you hanging out with Fort Bend Tutoring. Like the video, comment, and subscribe.